Hey guys, it's just me and Mr. Bubble bringing you guys your theme for the week. So this is our last academic week and our sole focus is to compose and hone our This I Believe essays that will serve as our final reflection for the semester. The This I Believe prompt was created by Edward R. Murrow in the 1950s who said that never has the need for personal philosophies of this kind ever been so urgent. A truer sentiment couldn't be uttered today. So this week, your do nows will comprise solely of listening to or reading six essays, three each day, that have been composed and archived on the NPR website. Early in the week, you'll listen to three essays that I've selected for you. Later in the week, you'll get to utilize the archive search engine and find three essays that you want to listen to on your own. Now, there's a series of short prompts for you to answer as you listen to each essay. The This I Believe prompt is about composing a simple statement of personal belief. Your statement should include a story or a vignette about how you have come to uphold that belief or a time that you put that belief into action. The official prompt from NPR gives the following advice. First, be brief. Your statement should be between 500 and 600 words. My own essay is 552 words. 552 words. Second, I'll name your belief. You should be able to label your belief in a sentence or two. Limit your essay to one core belief, or try to limit to one core belief. Be positive. Write about what you do believe, not about what you don't believe. Thirdly, be personal. This essay is about you. Speak in the first person. Tell a story from your own life and make sure that it's in your own voice. So this essay that I wrote and recently revised and recorded for you is titled Always Carry a Handkerchief. And it's about a simple practice taught to me by my father. I've included my example as an audio recording attached to the assignment and to this update. The more essays that you listen to, the more familiar you'll become with the format and the easier it'll be to write your own essay. I will be asking those of you who have your essays complete to share them with us at our Zoom interaction this week. At bare minimum, you should have your essential statement of belief ready to share along with your reactions to some of, some of the essays that you listen to as you prepare to compose your own. Next week, our final week together, early in the week, you'll be composing your final do now that asks you to peruse through three long articles, 62 pages in total. Now, I don't expect you to read all of these verbatim. What I do want you to do is I want you to skim through them and pay attention to those sections that intrigue you and read those sections more closely. I always find it fun to prognosticate about the future, and these articles are educated takes on what the long-term changes we might expect as a result of this virus. I do want you to start thinking about what the long-term impacts will be when it comes to this virus, and how are we going to change as a global society in reaction to this pandemic experience? And how has it already changed you? Until then, I look forward to hearing from you and reading your This I Believe essays. And I hope you guys all have a great week. Take care. Have a great week.